Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, Enzig and Japan. So, last episode I said this was going to be a stream, but unfortunately time restrictions now forces me to not have a stream. Well, it's kind of fine, since we do have quite a bit of extra work to do. Ah, uh, quite a bit of extra work to do before we do our mashub, mas, mash, mashub? Massive push, which is the one I want to bring you all into. So we're fixing that. Oh, right, right, right. You guys commented about that I'm not re researching jet fighters. Yeah, very, very true. But that is because I don't have yet, well, jet engines yet, which is apparently something I need to research as well. Crap. Um, we got that to fix then. Uh, let's see. Nothing wrong. Actually, this one might be worth it. Do we have anything else to pick right now? Or I think most of the stuff were ahead of time. Uh, let's see. Ahead of time, ahead of time, ahead of time. And all of this ahead of time. Yep. This one has shorter total time and will give me new equipment. But this one will give me time of everything else. Screw it. Let's pick the research speed. It will eventually pay itself out for me. Okay, anything else we can do? Yes, we can read a couple more comments. Let's see. Um, you want, um, well, you want the modders to make sure that Soviet Union invade Manchuria already. That would be much, much harder. Uh, you want <laughs> me to play Enzig as um, <laughs> Finland? Are you guys crazy? Like, I've seen tons of suggestions about me playing Enzig as Italy. Yeah, that won't simply work. I could maybe do a stream of it once, but that would be me dying in like 20 minutes at most. I don't know how fun that would be to see, actually. Uh, let's see, Jet Fighters, there we go, that comment. Uh, let's see, I need to commit seppuku if I fail. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Uh, let's see. Uh, when you get a new type of anti-air, it buffs the static. Uh, I don't think so, but wait, wait, wait. Actually, you might mean that... This one buffs the static. I don't think so, but... Hmm. Maybe this one? No, that's just the support one. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. So, what can we do right now? Yes, we've begun pushing into China just this. Just a tiny bit. Like, poking at them a tiny bit. We only pushed in, like, a couple hundred miles. So, we might actually bring them down this episode. But, as we all know, China isn't, isn't the real challenge. Soviet Union and the Allies are the real challenge for me, so we'll see how, that, see how that goes. So these six divisions, you have something to do right now. Since I can't really decide on which of these two to use, I should probably use this. But it might be a lot of used divisions, so I'll just send down all six of them to get in right there and push them back, please. No invasions. And of course, I do know about all of this, of course. I know that you can see where a dangerous naval invasion is going to happen and stuff like that. Just they're usually not super helpful. Because, well, they either, well, okay, they are super helpful. It's actually really, really helpful. But, well, sometimes they don't see it because you're focused way too much on the game. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep a better... Well, I would try to notice it a tiny bit better. So, that was apparently the first invasion on the main island. And remember what I said when that was going to happen. I was going to set up a proper, well, naval garrison. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't care that the US divisions even fell back before I, well, managed to send anything right there. I'm going to set something proper up right now. And these 25 divisions, well, apparently you're not going to be allowed to train. You're going to get out right there ASAP. Let's see, do we have any enemies right here? No, we don't. So these 25 divisions just join up right there and you're going to be sent over to garrison the rest with the lovely, lovely six divisions right there. And what the hell is that? That's two divisions from the US. Where are you going? Home islands. So probably some kind of invasion around here. We'll just have to wait and see. Right here? Well, I guess it was kind of half lucky that I saw this then because then we can just prevent them from actually landing at all. Or not unsure what happened there but sure okay uh, we're gonna have to push in and break this otherwise well those units are gonna just attack there forever and we're gonna fail um and i should probably not have cancelled all of those 25 divisions 
Uh, I do need more on my front line as well. So let's get another 31 divisions. Let's just run it up to 30 because it well, looks better. And let's try to throw them in right here. So yeah, of course, we're falling back right here. Making the PRC fall was kind of dangerous because it opened up a lot more uh, provinces to meet, for, for me to defend. But we seem to have held it... Uh, quite decently and what was most important right there was a lot of divisions hit right here was disbanded which is really really awesome uh, let's see if we can push in a couple more provinces right here alongside this front so we just move up the entire front line uh, we also have some more available well military industry wow a lot more wow that's impressive Okay, I'm super happy with that. We have 15 factories right now on advanced fighters. Artillery has some real firepower behind it. Um, actually, you are going to get even more factories. I, I'm i sorry, anti-tank, but I'm not going to build you up just yet. You're going to get your time eventually, but not yet. Uh, right now, I have 100% focused on convoys. Well, we're going to change that. We're going to have five factories on that. We're going to have five factories on this and the rest on my super heavy battleship. And you all are going to be deployed in Nagas. Why the hell? Why the, why, why, why the hell am I trying to build something? Uh, both of you guys, you're going to group up right there. This, my dear sir, you're going to be do not engage. And let's see, you are the... Uh, die 10... Slaughtering name. Uh, so we're going to assign you guys right there. Just so they instantly get there. Why the hell not? Like, they're supposed to be on the fleet, so why shouldn't I assign them directly to the army? So let's see, construction repair is still our highest focus. Which it probably should be as well. Hmm. I think repairing these civilian factories would actually be very, very advantageous right now. That's a lot of civilian factories currently being destroyed in my main island. So let's see. You are finally getting some proper support right now. 400 guys. And... We have actually scared them away. Oh my god, that's awesome. Everything we repair right now in our home island will stay repaired. They're right now bombing my eastern Chinese provinces. I think that's a hell of a lot better. Leave my home island alone and, well, we can talk about the rest later. Because we're going to repair this and then it's going to be fine. But right, 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 right. Garrison division. Holy shit, forgot about that. Uh, are we going to add MP to this? I don't think so. It's a tiny bit too expensive right now. So, we need MP divisions for the entirety of China. Let's see if we can get... The... Okay, that's a tiny bit too much overstating. Let's see, 50 divisions maybe? Uh, we're missing 16,000 infantry equipment for that. How many do we have on? Four, uh, 30 factories. That's gonna be alright. That's gonna be alright. 16,000 equipment isn't too much. Reinforcement is highest priority. Yes, cool. Then we're fine. I think. <laughs> I think we're fine. I'm not 100% sure. War bonds, lovely, but... Don't we have anything else to pick first? Yes, we do have a couple of things right here. Uh, everything right here is properly set up. Uh, industrial concern, yeah, that could be pretty good. The same one right here. Like, we need to pick them right now so they're not used in vain. Let's see, are we upgrading anything? And yes, we're upgrading tanks right now. So it would be nice if we actually got a tank designer. Oh, actually, we're ne uh, probably never going to produce any one of these. Let's see, it's 1940. Uh, actually, it's 1947. Yeah, we'll definitely use these. Wait, wait, so Germany had everything up to 55 research from the beginning. That can't be right. Really? I, I, I have just this memory that everything was researched when I played as Germany. And now I can't check it because, well, I could potentially do it. Well, actually, no. Germany does not exist on the map. Huh. I, I'm gonna have to double check that. Because if, if well, if you start with... 55 tanks and that's OP like hell Okay, never mind. Let's begin <laughs> or let's continue So we're researching out everything right here. That would be good. Okay. Let's see how we're doing right now uh, Someone also wanted me to just execute my main front line and well finish this but that is one thing I'm not gonna do right now. I am not gonna press this button and let just everyone charge in I'm not gonna leave, well, anything to chance right now. That's one thing I've learned in the NSIG mod. Even if it looks great right now, if you push too hard, do something that is, well, something unexpected or something too bold, this mod will bite you in the ass and then... Yeah, <laughs> it will bite you in the ass. I was gonna say something much, much, well, much worse, but um, luckily my, well, senses said, Daniel, don't say that on camera. So, <laughs> 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 saved it. Uh, let's see, push in right there and save that guy. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, you actually lost that, damn it. Well, whatever, we'll be fine. 13k, yeah, this is being reduced quite quickly and we barely have any on division reinforcements. That's good. Uh, let's see, these guys are, uh, I don't know. Are you gonna be a continuous production or not? I know that you're just gonna be a single production, but we'll see about the rest. How is resist, wait, wait, is this counted as a core for me? No? Is it just, oh yeah, no, it's not counter scores me, good. Just wanna make sure that it wasn't anything weird right there. And you have once again assigned stuff right here, but it's fighters. It's only fighters. Um, if you did air support as well, how would that work? Uh, let's see, their fighters, we have, let's see. We have lower air defense with higher agility and speed. We also have anti-air guns with us. So this should pay out quite well. But as you can see, casualties right now, they are not agreeing with me. They're definitely not agreeing with me. So I'm not gonna throw away all of my fighters doing that. I'm just gonna keep doing, well, keep doing my interception and be happy with it. As long as you don't bomb me, I'm gonna be, I'm, uh, you can do whatever you want over there. Except nuking, well, nuking consists of bombing. Okay, well, yeah, we're fine. Just don't bomb me and we're fine. Uh, right here, we're gonna try to push in a tiny bit more. Like I said, I do wanna push right the northern parts right here, but it doesn't give me very much. Sure, it gives me manpower, but well, that's one of the things I don't really need. Uh, right here, please push in and you two guys are gonna cut them from behind. They came from behind. All right, that's done and finished. Let's see, any messages? Not freaking yet. Okay, cool. Uh, camera? Stop picking up my light. Well, I'm a bit darker right now, but that's fine. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. You are good right there. What the hell are you doing? No. Oh, wait, you're garrison. Ah, shit. I was suddenly thinking, wow, I have so many troops right there. But yeah, five of those, six of those, a garrison. Oh my god, really? We need more divisions on the front line. ASAP. I think I'm, yeah, I might actually just throw these guys out as soon as they're done. Sure, you will be recruits, but you'll be fighting a pretty easy enemy right now. And with those 30 divisions, we might do what I just talked about is very illegal. We might just, well, call the order to push. We'll see. We'll see when those guys get out how I feel about that. Right here, we still have quite a bit of head of time right there. I guess I could always pick that one, but I don't see myself as a tactical bomber. Um, right here, nope, nope, nope. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, right here, I guess, but... Sure, let's get that one. We who knows? We might wanna we might wanna have field sprawls. It would be great if I could stay at extensive conscription. It would even be great if I actually could reduce this one by limited. That's only one percent difference. Actually, it's only one percent difference, and taking all of China and India would give me a bunch of manpower that way. So yeah, we were we should probably get field hospital whenever we can. <laughs> Going from do I need it to yeah, give me it now. Uh, so right, tank designer, uh, five percent more liability. Sure, let's get that one. It not well. It's not too bad. Thank you. That's gonna be you and cool. Uh, you're gonna go in and take that port. You're gonna go in right there. And uh, let's see, you you attack right there. You attack right there. Take one unit from there, and we'll be good hopefully. Uh, pop, 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 pop. What's going on right here? Oh, yes, use invasion, but we're killing them and the same thing right there. Awesome. So that's why they're doing air superiority and apparent bombing as well but right now we seem to be intercepting a whole lot of their bombers let's see we are repairing quite quickly right now repairing both of them have you been giving me a couple more military uh, civilian factories uh, let's see span and gain 10 percent efficiency on home man uh, not yet not yet there we go interception um, well forward interception getting 15 percent more right there awesome let's see we have a radar station right here uh, getting one more level will increase the range, so we want level 3. Remember, level 6 radar station breaks the game, so don't get that. Uh, so I'm actually going to prioritize this one now to the top. It would be great if I got that extra radar, and that would help my fighters quite a bit. Let's see, what more can we do to help you? We can give you even more factories, which I am going to do. For a day, no, I want more than that. Let's see, logistic company level 3, thank you. We're going to get level 4. 
and we are also going to come on come on 21 percent why wait what why can't you oh no location set yeah uh, let's make you a one-time thing and you are the same thing right there let's deploy no <sighs> I almost cancelled all of those divisions. I would have rage quit right there. And it would have been first on my fail count. We're still a zero as far as I remember. Let's see. Up, 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 up. There we go. 13 ships right now. So you guys are going to have to convoy escort right there. Yeah. And I'm going to take all of these divisions. Yes. Throw her right there. Mm, don't catch him. Don't catch him. Don't catch him. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh crap, my units are on do not engage, do not engage. Uh, guys, ships, where the hell are you? Right there. Engage. Oh, you're just a tiny, tiny bit. King of Italy joined, why the hell would you join that battle? And why are you not helping my ships, for the love of God? Get down right there. Well, that was only one guy, that's fine, I guess. Uh, you are gonna jump in right here as the garrison order of this entire region, or not garrison order, as resistance fighter in all the regions we currently take. Yeah, maybe 50 divisions was a tiny bit too much, but let's begin with that area. And these lovely 30 divisions, you're gonna just join up right here at the main front line, and we're gonna see how you handle that. And let's see, oh, is my fleet intercepting? Nope, they are pretty much leaving this poor little guy to die, and there he died. So let's just get back to port and do not intercept anything. Thank you. And apparently another invasion right here. I'm just gonna, well, slightly delay a couple of these divisions to yeah, strategically deploy right there. And surround that. You're gonna attack with one division, so you delay them while the other divisions are spreading out. And then we're gonna get them. Apparently that was for a way too short of a time. So we're gonna take a couple of one, couple more of these divisions now attacking. Just to help them a bit more. Let's take you. And as soon as you arrive, you're going to attack. Okay, let's just attack with everything. God, that tank division is dangerous. Well, it will be more dangerous. Um, actually, it's not trained to anything. No, okay. It's just I have tons of good well, bonuses on them right now. So that's good. Now you even attack me right there. Multiple combat penalty. And they will die very, very quickly. Cool. Um, you're going to get a commander, of course. Doesn't have to be a very good one. Which means I should take a higher level one. Let's pick you. I'll probably never use you. And there we go. Let's see. Come on, just kill off these divisions. Yeah, lucky I actually assigned a bunch of extra units right here. This could have been a slight pain in my ass. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Good. Everything looks nice. Atomic research done, which means research speed is done. That's another 2% to my side. We have nothing more to pick right now. Oh, refinery construction people plus 10%. That might be useful. Uh, let's fix that. You guys gonna kill off these visions, please? I really need my anti-tank guns right now. So it would actually be nice if I had factory assigned to it right now. Are you kidding me, game? I, I speak and I just get it instantly. It'd be really nice if I had a super heavy tank division somewhere. Nothing? Damn it. Uh, okay. Yeah, all of you guys now just get assigned on the front line. It's gonna be quite lovely to have you right there. Um, you have actually mostly arrived already. Wow, that short battle over here took a very long time apparently. Uh, let's see, anything else? Ichigo, oh, this might actually be very useful. So US gets 10% base war support actually how is the us looking 100 okay so that's fine that would cost me 50 and we'll get a very nice bonus to just well everything everything will be good for me uh let's see special force capacity not very useful and close air support tackle gun no no thank you and this is just carrier stuff and i don't care about it experimental rockets that's something i care about but not in the case of rockets but i want my jet engines please the extra units are right now arriving. Very good. Let's see how we're looking. We're looking pretty good right now. Everyone is strong, have good equipment, except we have a bunch of recruits that are not very good. But I think we'll be all right. Looking at Chinese units, most of them have lost equipment and it's looking pretty weak. God damn it, I didn't think we would actually come to a moment in this episode where we actually would be able to bring them down. Uh, one unit right there. I think I'm just gonna throw you into this. Actually, let's throw you in right there Right there. Cool How are you looking? 
mm, decent after me building you up a tiny bit it would be nice to build you up a bit more but for now just repair everything that they're currently slaughtering for me uh, let's see that one that one this one and then we just have a bunch of infrastructure everywhere nice uh, let's bump up still my radar station i want that to be highest freaking priority uh, you can attack right there, you can attack right there and kill off both of these units. No one shall be near Tokyo, please. Um, you attack right there as well. Damn it, Australia, how dare you. Uh, okay, are we ready? I think we are. So we're going to do, well, Ichigo and Japan is pouring resources, but no neighbors are not. We must take from them what we lack. We only, And we only cry excuse to begin. So, oh, right, that's the same, that's the same description. That's just a uh, basic uh, event. Let's see, defense bonus... Wait, they get a bonus as well? No, no, it's me getting bonuses against them, yeah. So, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see. If we take Republic of China right now, where would our enemies be? Uh, Xinjiang... Uh, oh, wait, actually, will it be? We'll get a peace deal, right? Yeah, we get a peace deal. We're gonna annex them... Or are we? No, I think I'm gonna make you in the puppet state. Because keep... Oh wait, we can take this state. But we're gonna have to leave this as a puppet state. Because it would be nice to actually keep you... Well, have a buffer state in between Soviet Union. But taking this would be very ugly. So I might just make you in a puppet state. You don't have anything really I want. Sure, that chromium would be nice. But I don't really care. Yeah, you're gonna be a puppet state to me. Yeah. And then, of course, we have to, well, start going against the British Raj right here. And we'll not call you into any wars. Unless you're automatically called in right now when I make you a puppet state. Uh, otherwise, I will just push in here to the British Raj. And, yeah, that will be lovely. That's tons of resources. That's tons of... Just tons of everything. Manpower, factories, resources. For a very, very small cost. Ho or the British might actually have most of the division signed right there since they're not occupied with Germany. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. We're gonna get the next tank right there. Excellent. And let's see. Nope. You're not gonna join any kind of war. Or yes, I think we're ready. Uh, so we are just gonna do. Let's make a save. <laughs> uh, we'll make it a lovely little save right there. And. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Uh, no, we're not going to be very careful. We're going to be balanced. We're going to be balanced. So as soon as you see a freaking red one, I'm going to be super scared. And you, we are actually seeing red ones right here. What the hell are you doing? You are attacking with just one unit right there. So I'm going to have to keep a close eye. And just as soon as you see something red, we'll just have to go in and, uh, well, help them. Uh, these 31 division, how much more can you cover? You can cover quite a bit more. Uh, let's actually just assign you right here this entire like entire path right now just in case there we go and you I'm not worried Portugal so that's all good so let's begin up I saw some red I'm watching a map everything is green green is what good uh, let's see no, we're fine, we're fine, okay, we're good. I think we'll be alright. Everything will be alright. Uh, let's assign stuff right there. How are we doing in our main island right now? They have abandoned this once again to stop bombing me right there. That's, well, that's fine and good. Just keep repairing my home island. That's gonna give me a level 3 radar station. Let's see, that's gonna bump it up all the way right there. Cool. It's going to be almost my entire home, man. I might actually have to get it all the way up to five. Damn it. Well, we're going to delay with that. That's most my island, and I'm going to be happy with it for now. Right here, we're just pushing in right now. I think we can actually afford going super aggressive right now. We have broken the Chinese army. It's Yeah, we actually killed it off. Oh, my God. We actually fought with them so much. We killed it off. Come at me, bro, Ensig. Weren't you going to be hard? Well, <laughs> it would have been a hell of a lot harder if Soviet Union actually declared war against me right away. Then it would have been desperate. Then it would have been a desperate defense in, the defensive line behind this river just <laughs> begging for mercy. And there we go. 
Where was it? Really? Here? Here is where she nuke me? Well, you know what that means. Hello, air superiority. I want that as well over my home island. Because with air superiority, they can nuke me. So, yeah. Let's see, how many extra fighters do I have right now? Fighters, fighters, fighters. 58. But this airbase is now full. Yeah. So, I'm going to do like this. You're going to be 800 right there. And then we're going to deploy a new fighter force in the south. Just whatever fighters I can find. Get up right there. And you're going to be 600 right there. So we're just going to make sure we can cover the entire island with everything we have. Just to have a perfect range. But I'm not going to allow anything to get in through right there. And that's a freaking massive invasion of US troops. Uh, is that a port? No, it's not. Then we need to hold this with everything we can possibly get. So guys, get over right there. You have two units, so you're gonna be thrown in one unit, extra unit right there. Let's see, anywhere else, two units right there. So you're gonna strategically deploy right there, then move in. <sighs> Very good. Keep just holding them there. Keep holding them there. If they can't break out of there, then they will slowly but steadily die from supply. Almost rhyming right there, nice. Okay, cool. You guys are moving in. On every single province? No, you're not. I guess I have to be more clear with I want everything down to me. And I'm gonna take the southern path right here and I'm gonna drag this one down like this. And there we go. So, guys, are you now happy with pushing in the north as well? Apparently not. Really? I have to drag this one up all the way. There we go. Now you're finally moving. Not as much as I wanted, like the very top, but it's it's better. It's better. Uh, so I'm just guessing I will have to pull that one down like this as well. For you guys to move properly. Ah, uh, you're okay. Standing it a tiny bit better at least. Uh, right here, they are still trying to push in right here. I'm gonna... I, I need some kind of flexible force in my homeland as well. Let's get 10 divisions. You're gonna be my flexible extra defense force. Uh, let's see, we have more factories right now, getting more fighters right there. We are gonna need, let's see, we, uh, a lot more anti-tank guns, I think. And let's get two on motorized, two on fuel, and... Okay, we'll let have more on rations, then I guess we are just gonna do like this now. No, wait, no, we're not, no, we're not. Never mind, fighters are still very, very critical. I guess we're gonna start getting up a modern tank reserve. Like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before anything like that, let's see. Mechanized equipment. You're going to be up there, and you're going to be like five factors in that, and then a, a tank reserve. Good. Uh, shit, I'm actually going to end it right now, but thank you guys for joining for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Boom, boom. That was so silly. No, no, why did I do it? And now I can't edit it out. Oh, my God. I was gonna do a boom, boom, and see you guys next time. Oh, shit, that was so embarrassing. Why did I do that? I, I was just in a rhythm, and oh my god. Shut up, Daniel. Let's end this. Bye, and bye.